Number 41. Calculate the enthalpy of the solution, aka the delta H for the dissolution, per mole of NH4NO3, so ammonium nitrate, under the conditions described in example 5.6. Okay, so kind of new topic here. We're talking about a delta H. So just know that delta H is called enthalpy. And I kind of remember this because I see an H in the word enthalpy, and it's represented as a delta H. Now, if we kind of go with this H idea, this is basically the amount of heat that is either produced or released when one mole of a substance is either being burned or going under a reaction. So H is all around. Okay, now just know that enthalpy has very specific units. This is a standard state unit, right? So it's a standard unit. And delta H is always kilojoules per mole. So that's basically what we want to find out. We want to calculate the enthalpy, and enthalpy is always in kilojoules per mole. Now, they said that we had to go back to example 5.6, so that's what I did for you guys. I wrote down the information that we need in order to figure out this problem from 5.6. The amount of heat that was produced was 1.0 kilojoules, and they told us that 3.21 grams of this ammonium nitrate uh, was used in order to produce the 1.0 kilojoules. Now, all we have to do is just take the kilojoules and divide it by the moles. We know this number. We know that there's 1.0 kilojoules that were produced. That's the answer from example 5.6. But now, how are we going to get the moles? Well, they gave us the grams. So how do we go from grams to moles? Oh, we know this, right? Dimensional analysis. So let's go for it. 3.21 grams of NH4, NO3, remember, times by that ratio, throw the unit that you don't want on the opposite side, so grams of NH3, NH4, NO3, goes on the bottom, mole of NH4, NO3 goes on the top, and it's a gram to mole conversion, right, gram to mole conversion of the same compound, that's the periodic table. So periodic table's out, guys, right? Remember, when you're doing the periodic table, there's always one mole of the substance, and the molar mass goes with the grams. So let's see. I got a nitrogen, which is 14.01, plus four hydrogen. One, let's see, 14.01 plus four times 1.008, plus we got another nitrogen, and then plus three oxygens. So I get 80.052. Cancel out the grams. And let's just see, 3.21 divided by that number. I get roughly 0 0.0401. And that's the moles of the NH4 NO3. So that's this number. Right? Or maybe I'll just maybe I'll just write that out again. 0 0.0401 moles. Okay. Now we can find the enthalpy. Just kilojoules divided by moles. 1.0 kilojoules divided by the 0 0.0401. I'm not gonna put the units because I know that we have the proper units. So actually Actually, I do want to put the units because <laughs> I just want to show you guys that these will not cancel, right? Usually when we do dimensional analysis, something's going to cancel, in this case, the grams. But remember, if there's no unit that's the same, you can't cancel them. So that's why enthalpy is always kilojoules per mole. Can't cancel, can't, can't cancel those out. So 1 divided by 0 0.0401, I get roughly 25. Yeah, I like that. 25? Sounds good to me. So 25 kilojoules, and maybe I'll just bring this over a little bit this way. 25 kilojoules per mole. And that's it. Look at that, guys. Awesome job. 
Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. You guys rock. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I'll talk to you all in the next lesson. See you later. Bye-bye.